Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Forbidden Science. Please check the description to know more about the channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof of a small occult elite of history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This is a 16th century map of Africa from Castel Farnese. In addition to the full flowing rivers, lakes, and their basins, it shows the mountains that divide the continent, of which there is now no information either. Many towns on the coast of the Gulf of Guinea and in the interior of Africa. Even today's settlements in this area can hardly be called cities, and back then. Whose were they? And the African coast of the Mediterranean Sea is rather empty, although, according to traditional notions, northern Africa was densely populated and there should have been dozens of cities. The Mexican god Kukulkan and the decorative element of the Chinese chariot I am more and more convinced that the ancient peoples had a poor imagination. What an outrageous tradition, the same symbols, the same decorations, the same ethnic patterns, no individuality. Primitive ancient people brazenly ignored the fact that there were continents, seas and oceans between them, thousands of years before the invention of the Shenzhen, and they, as historians assure us, did not know about the existence of each other at all. In modern Great Zimbabwe, the remains of the old town of the early 12th century were found. We found traces of active trade, large-scale mining of ore, developed blacksmithing, which indicates an unusually high, compared to its neighbors, level of cultural development in the city. Well-designed planning of the city, separating fortified stone part and wooden settlement for poor people. Numerous stone temples. Simply put, poor hungry pygmies, as the Africans are now represented as, were not capable of creating such a thing. All the evidence adds up to a picture that there was an advanced civilization, of which, however, the history is silent. But you can read about the primitiveness of the population in any textbook. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Post for Fans of Big Seals Peter, China, Florida, and Alexandria, flooded more than 1,000 years ago, it would seem, what do they have in common? Balloon lion statues, identical except for the position of the tail, and the fact that in St. Petersburg the lions are covered in cracks. A single civilization can be united not only by technology, but also by ideas about the beautiful, and what can be more beautiful than seals. In completely different parts of the world, people have thought of making identical lions, each holding a ball under its front paw. We can also think of the coincidence of patterns on the clothes of the Russians, and on the clothes of the ancient Egyptians. Hugo Jernsback developed a rather elaborate scheme, shown here briefly, and produced a report on how to safely extract a few kilowatts of electricity from the atmosphere, using metal surfaced balloons raised to only 1,000 feet.
the forests in Russia are young, with just over a hundred trees over 200 years old per country, and all on a special list. Even old photos hardly remember the lush forests and oak groves. Taiga Station on the Trans-Siberian Railway 1899. It is unlikely that Taiga was called a swamp or a desert. But looking at the photo, you can't help asking, what are a pair of small fir trees and ten skinny trees? Where is the taiga? A massive knife was found underwater. There is little to learn about this mysterious image. We see a massive knife, held by three scuba divers somewhere in the ocean. The image has been widely circulated among people on social media. Many consider it evidence of giants walking the earth before written history, perhaps tens of thousands of years ago. It is likely a prop that somehow ended up in the ocean, but who knows for sure. Such a cultural layer was dug up in India. Lately, the topic of buried first floors of buildings has been gaining popularity among people of absolutely different occupations, education, and social status. More and more people are beginning to ask questions and trying to search for answers on their own. What is this but evidence of a cataclysm? After all, no one in their right mind would bury buildings underground. And this means that something terrible has happened, which, as usual, has been hidden from us. I wonder, are there still people left who think and believe that it was the cultural layer that buried old buildings all over the world in this way? Mysterious Pyramidal Mountain in the Circumpolar Urals This mountain is located in the Circumpolar Urals. It is hard to believe that nature could create such regular geometric shapes. The unusual mountain has caused many years of disputes among people. There is a group of people who believe that it is a man-made pyramid. Some journalists write that the size of the Ural Pyramid exceeds the largest Egyptian pyramid, the Cheops Pyramid. Some people believe that it is left over from ancient civilizations. Looking at this mountain, it is easy to believe such theories. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.